All right, we're looking at a dry day today, but overcast skies. In fact, those clouds will likely be fairly thick up until about five, maybe six o'clock. As we're starting to wrap up the afternoon, we should start to see some breaks in those clouds. But now 69. Notice it is cloudy at the Pittsburgh airport. Winds out of the northwest at three miles an hour. Our dew points coming in at 60 degrees, so a little bit more moist that we were seeing this morning and our high pressure or at least uh, high pressure continues to roll in. Our barometer now at 30 and 16 hundredths of an inch is what we're looking at as we're heading into the afternoon. Most places cloudy as we're heading in as well. Pittsburgh, Latrobe, Morgantown all reporting overcast skies. 69 in Pittsburgh, 68 the temperature in Latrobe and Butler 67. You have to go all the way over to the Cleveland area before you start to see some sunshine. And that's likely due to Lake Erie helping to keep them nice and clear as we're heading into the afternoon. We'll go 75 for your high. We still have a lot of work to go and get into the 75 bark with the clouds that we have in place. Dry, but obviously those clouds are expected to remain. Winds will be variable today. They'll be all over the place, but fairly light between two to five miles an hour is what we're looking at. We are expecting to see some changes. You can see the warmer air. Look at Memphis, 81 already. Chicago at 80 degrees, 79 in Kansas City. That warm air will continue to move off to the east. And we'll start to warm up. You even have some areas along the coastline. Don't let that fool you that are warm as well. That's most likely because of the interaction that they have with the Atlantic Ocean that they're seeing that. But that ridge of high pressure will continue to head our way. And as it does, we'll continue to warm up as we're heading into the weekend. There's that high that's going to come in. Before it gets here, though, you can see, yeah, the clouds are developing really from Pittsburgh down to the south. I do have some hopes that just along and north of I-80, maybe places like Mercer County, places like that, that they'll have a chance to see a little bit of sunshine. Today, obviously, we're expecting it to be cloudy, but after we get out of today, sunshine expected for uh, both the Saturday and Sunday. We'll watch closely for that. Here's the uh, forecast for you. You can see even uh, model data continues to try to show some of those greens. Uh, that's because in the mid levels, we still have some moisture that we're working with. If we saw anything over the weekend, it would likely just be in the way of a couple of sprinkles. We are expecting to see similar to this morning, some fog developing tomorrow morning. It won't be as thick as this morning, so I don't think we'll see a, a dense fog advisory. Temperatures back around the 60 degree mark. Just wanted to quickly mention we now have tropical storm Jose sustained winds at 70 miles an hour. At least some maximum sustained winds are and is moving to the northwest at nine miles an hour. The reason we wanted to bring this up is that it does still have a chance to impact the East Coast, but get this could be all the way into next weekend. In fact, model data is showing it moving kind of meandering on the East Coast before next Saturday, possibly making landfall over around the Maryland area. So we'll keep you up to date on that. Here's your seven day outlook. We do uh, keep it dry Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday and Thursday, and we do think that we'll see some sunshine both Saturday and Sunday. Both of those days looking at highs right at 80 degrees. Those are the bro broken records we like to have. I yeah. like <laughs> it. We have that block party you guys are coming to oh, tomorrow, yeah. Yeah, right? Yeah, there okay, we go. good. Yeah. It's going to be a good one. Uh, you forgot to give us the address, but okay, we're I'll waiting. Work on that. That. Yeah. <laughs> I think there's a reason she hasn't given it to us yet. <laughs>